drag and drop implementing a to-do list or Kanban board in Angular. Actually, we'll be able to move items between the two lists. Uh, for example, here only this can be done and can be moved back and forth. Also, we can re revert some of the items from down to the to-do state. And some of the other items, they don't have the possibility to go to the down uh, state. So let's see how we can do this in uh, Angular. We'll be using Angular CDK. So from the Angular material, you can go to the CDK and drag and drop. The API requires uh, to import drag and drop module from Angular CDK drag and drop. And there are plenty of examples here which you can use uh, and customize for your own uh, needs. And now let's go and take a look at the code. In our app module, we have added our uh, drag and drop module and we have listed it under the imports. Uh, that's what we all need to do inside of the app module. Then we have app component, HTML and app component CSS. In CSS, we are styling the behavior of the whole application. So uh, the way we are moving uh, those items, how they uh, we'll have transparency or different background color. You can see those here. Uh, for example, we are making the preview with a uh, background color of green. And this actually is uh, uh, specifying how the item will look before it's placed on its uh, new place. Then we have uh, for the drag placeholder, the color of red. And this is uh, actually the placeholder or the place where the item will end up. So we can customize this with those uh, CSS classes. Then uh, we have certain animation in order to, for everything to be happening uh, smoothly. Uh, so those transitions are for, for this exactly. If we remove the transitions, as you can see, we will have the same functionality, but everything will be more rough and uh, not so pleasant for the eye. And this opacity is uh, for us to be able to achieve this uh, semi-transparent effect. And that's for the CSS. Okay, let's take a look at the HTML uh, code of the component. Basically, we have two containers, example container one and two, and uh, they are united with one CDK drop list group. This means that uh, we'll be able to exchange data between those two containers. What's more interesting is how we form the items inside of the uh, containers. In the first container, first it starts with a diff uh, where we have used this uh, directive CDK drop list. By placing this uh, directive inside of our diff, it allows us to uh, have uh, all the functionality of uh, drag and drop uh, uh, inside of uh, a simple diff filled with items. Then we connect the diff with uh, binding to our uh, to-do array. So we have uh, an array with the following items and uh, by using CDK drop list data equals to to-do, we are just feeding the CDK drop list with the data from the to-do array. Afterwards, we are creating an event listener. So the moment uh, uh, something is, is dropped, so it dragged from somewhere else and dropped into our list, we are running this event drop event and uh, this is the function here defined which we'll explain later now to the actual uh, displayed content we loop through each of the items of uh, this to-do array already defined uh, uh, here and we are displaying them using uh, string template uh, literals here What's more interesting is that uh, we are adding uh, the decorator CDK drag. This allows us to be able to move the items uh, within our list. And also we have uh, this uh, property binding here, which is very interesting. Without it, we cannot uh, grab uh, further information about the dragged item. So that's why it's placed here. We will be using this uh, afterwards in the app component. For the second uh, container it has the same structure and we have placed uh, additional limitation with this line here we are basically saying please check whatever it will be dropped into this container and run the following function 
yeah, event predicate and we can take a look at the event predicate function basically we are checking the past data and uh, if it equals to uh, can be done this returns true and this allows us to make the following functionality um, on this item to be able to move through the both of the lists and the others uh, to stay because the function will return false so we cannot transfer item one into the next list because in the second list we have the predicate checking function also one more interesting thing here to notice is that we will not be able to access item.data property if we haven't uh, put uh, this binding here cdk drag data equals to item so it's interesting to notice this now let's take a look at the drop uh, function actually it activates whenever something is dropped to the list and we have information also about the event which uh, uh, happened so if we take a look at the function first we are logging uh, from which uh, container to which container uh, we are passing uh, data so if we go and run the console if we try to move one item we see that we are going from list zero and coming back again to list zero because we are forbidden to move items to the list one but uh, for those which are allowed we see that the event is uh, giving us information that we are traveling from the to-do list to the down list or from the cdk drop list zero to cdk drop list one then we have a condition so basically uh, we are checking whether we are moving items within uh, the same container or we are moving items between the containers so the information inside of the else is uh, for the second case where we are transferring items between the containers and then if we if we are moving the items within the same container we are just using move item in array function uh, which uh, exchanges the places of the elements and you may wonder from where you can read more information on this uh, function actually if we go back here to the api and just do a simple search and we we'll see that uh, we have access to this function move item into array here are the parameters so these are the array we are working with the starting index or the starting position of the item and the destination index where the element should be moved and then we have a similar function which is called transfer array item which is used to transfer data between uh, two arrays and we can see it it's the next function uh, the only difference between it is that it accepts uh, one more parameter and this is the destination or the second container in our case so that's basically how the whole functionality can be implemented uh, at first uh, the syntaxes might seem overwhelming but uh, that's why you have uh, a lot of examples here which uh, you can uh, literally see the code for examples and implement very easily and customize all right guys i hope uh, you enjoyed the tutorial and if you like the information you can subscribe to the channel